Hi there, we are going to go to the Goodwill in Elkland, PA. You can see up there on the map. We are really, really close to the New York border. I have taken you to this Goodwill before. We were told about this Goodwill from a man that I met in the Wellsboro Goodwill. He said that he and his wife go to Wellsboro, Mansfield, and then Elkland. And we're like, where's Elkland? And it is a very small town that happens to have a Goodwill. And if you are a long-term subscriber of my channel, this might be recognizable how they have all of these shelves full to the pack to the brim overflowing right away I found a turtle of little figurines and tchotchkes and things Jenny and Jimmy and Jim, <laughs> Jenny and Jimmy are with me I found that the turtle I also found this owl figurine it wasn't until I got it home that I realized it has a really really nice repair that owl figurine is currently for sale on whatnots in the buy it now just for $5. I didn't realize it until I got it home, how nicely repaired it is. And it's too nice to just throw it in the trash. I know someone will like it. I found this vintage doorstop. This is currently up for sale on eBay. I cleaned it up. It's very, very nice. Nice little folk art piece that can also hold open your door. I hadn't been here since, oh, I think the last time I was here was when I took Jenny and Madeline to Corning. So it's been a while. I found this bag of giraffes. The one in my that I'm holding with my thumb was the one that I wanted that recently sold on a whatnot sale. The other two are resin elephants, but they have chips out of them. So they will be not for sale because the repairs, I can't fix them. But that beautiful ceramic giraffe does have a new home and I hope the new owner is enjoying it. Up here on the top shelf, the vulture. <laughs> is what caught my eye. I'm asking Jenny, Jenny, what do I see? And she's like, the vulture and the elephant. The elephant was a hobbyist piece. Look at those eyelashes. Very on point. Uh, this was a resin piece. Of course, that caught my attention. Then I saw uh, there were a lot of these resin pieces in the store. So I think someone had donated their hobby. I did not get any of the resin, but this vulture, Jimmy's pointing out things up top to me. That vulture, I think, is an incense burner because of the hole in the top. It was made in Japan. I think it's fabulous. That will be for sale in my upcoming What Not sale on the 2nd of January, my first of the year. I can't wait. I've taken this week off of What Not, and uh, I'm very excited to get back at it next year. <laughs> Sounds so far away, but it's not. I picked up both of these ring holders and earring holders. The elephant has sold, but the pig, the one on the left, is for sale on eBay. They cleaned up really nicely. They were a little yellowy, and now they're more white than yellowy. And I hope the new owner enjoys the elephant because it was super cute. This, I was asking Jenny, is this one of those Woolsies or there I know Target had a brand and Jenny had another brand of them and she conferred that yes it was the Target Target one she felt there was only one of those we should probably get those out because she does not she does not play with them anymore and I think someone would enjoy her toys it's only a one child played with toys so they're in very very good condition and they're so cute there's so many different animals I think they're called Woolsies I'm not sure I'll put up the name of what they are here on the screen here were some more of those tiles or coasters. I think they're coasters, not tiles. Some of the rocks and things were poking up through the resin. This is for a wine bottle and then you hang your glasses around the edge of it. And I'm asking Jimmy, do you know what this is? And once I said wine bottle, he, he said, oh, you put that on the neck and then the glasses. So he knew. <laughs> Some people may not know, so that is why I'm sharing that information with you. This duck was very, very cute, made in Japan, redware. I did take the time to put it in the Googler, and it does not sell for huge, huge, crazy, crazy, crazy money. Um, the little finial handle was also a duck I thought was very cute. But ducks do not sell well for me unless they're anthropomorphic cutie pie ducks, but mallards and realistic ducks do not. So I tend to stay away from them. I spied this and I thought this is super pretty. A vintage decanter bottle, maybe for bubble bath or for your favorite drink. I'm not sure. Jimmy spied this on the very top shelf. We both thought it was super cute. We're looking at the name of it. 
and uh, it was more contemporary, but I liked how the ribbon was part of the handle. I decided not to get the bunny, but decided to get the decanter instead. Looking in the bags to see if there's anything exciting in the very back of the shelves. I didn't really see anything and then kept moving. This was an unusual piece, very, very heavy. And underneath they had a lot of these little dishes. And then I found, look, another duck. This might have been the sugar bowl. It was missing its lid. I would assume that there was a lid that went with that. So I put them together for somebody else and went back to looking at the plates. This was a really pretty milk glass plate, hand painted with a flamingo on it. There was some wear to the flamingo itself, and that is why I did not get that. If the flamingo was in better shape, I probably would have picked it up because people like flamingos and that kind of style of decor. And then I thought, well, let's look at the other plates together. At south of the border, Jimmy and I have been there. That is a crazy place down south. There's an Alaskan plate. And then I thought to myself, oh, if there's a main plate, I'll get another main plate to add to our first main plate that we have. <laughs> but I didn't find one. There was an Indiana one and another south of the border plate. So I put all of those back, decided not to get any of them, but to keep on looking for some treasures. In the very, very back here, I found an owl. It was ceramic, kind of messy in the painting, so that is why I did not get that. This caught my eye when we first walked in and I wanted to know what that was, and that was more contemporary. Here was a really pretty green glass piece. I felt that it was missing the lid because there was a rim right around there. I knew it would not glow, so I did not get it. Here are some more of those coasters. And I don't think there's anything else here. Sorry, the camera angle was a little wonky there. We are in the Christmas section. Here were some new old stocks, so I always look at those. They were scented parasols, and I, I, I don't like to send scented things because I know people have allergies or might live with someone who has allergies, and I don't want to aggravate anybody's sense of smell. Looking to see if there's anything Christmas because we were here before Christmas, and even though Christmas now has passed since you are watching this, I do sell all the holidays all year round, but of course, the big holidays that are coming up, you kind of gear, get up and get more uh, inventory for that upcoming holiday. Not right now, I've moved on to Valentine's. <laughs> December 26th, I was like, all right, let's get ready for Valentine's Day. So I'm trying to find Valentine's. This also, I felt, was missing a top that might have been a fairy lamp, but I'm not quite sure. And I have so many bases, clear glass bases, that I, I'm not picking them up anymore unless they were, you know, Fenton or something crazy. We're going to wrap up our shopping trip to the Elkland Goodwill here by looking at the clear glass and, yeah, clear glass section. As I said, some of the things have already been listed on eBay. And now let's try some chocolate. Where'd you go today? Today, Jenny and I went to Highland oh, Chocolates. Oh, wait. I want to show how Susie's on the table. She's not allowed to be on the table, but see how she's sitting there? Okay. So Jenny and I went to Highland Chocolates in Wellsboro. It's a family-owned candy store. And we got a couple things that we're going to try. We got milk chocolate, salt, sea salt, caramel, peanut butter, Oreo cookies. For me. Jenny picked out milk chocolate Ooh. s'mores bark. That the side. sounds good. And I go with the Old Faithful. Oh, yes, peanut, oh butter. peanut butter malt balls. Okay, well, I, I, I don't even know how to read. <laughs> it says so. right there. It says right there, peanut butter. I know. I, I Jimmy loves balls. Jimmy loves malt balls. But they either way, they're good though. Yeah, they'll be good. I'm, I'm sure they won't go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do taste test later. But before the taste test, we're going to do the last day of the round the world advent calendar. All right, this is it. The 24th day of December. Our last place we are going to fly is Peru. Interesting fact, potatoes originated in Peru over, with over 3,000 different varieties existing today. Peru is also home to the highest sand dune and deepest canyons of the world. And that is where we are. Here is the envelope. Very, very lumpy. Let's see what's inside. Here we go. 
I think we're gonna decorate this guy. Oh, maybe we're making a maybe we're making a reindeer. There's a red nose and some pom poms and some yarn. I really appreciate everyone starting off with me their our journey together in New Zealand, and we've traveled all over the world. And I hope you have a merry merry Christmas. Here is the final project. You ended up making a little weaving right on the llama. Oh, whoops. Uh, it was super fun. This is really cute. This was a great last project for this series. Like I said, I liked all of them. Kids of all ages could do these projects. The only one I didn't like was Ukraine because the directions weren't that clear. I hope you enjoyed this series. It was a lot of fun and I can't wait till next year. We're back home. We're gonna try the chocolate. Jenny, this is what you try. You picked out yeah. milk chocolate I'm s'mores bar. Try that one because I'm. Ooh, that sounds good. Yes, it, and then they picked these out for me: milk chocolate, sea salt, caramel, peanut butter Oreo cookies. And then Jimmy can't read, um, so he got peanut butter mall balls. Yeah. <laughs> he loves mall balls. Yeah. Usually chocolate. Usually chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate mall balls. Chocolate mall balls, yeah. So these yeah. might be different, and I like them. And they, I like peanut butter. Right, so what's not and to where like? Where do you get these from? These are Highland chocolates, and I'm going to put a link um, in the description. It's out, it's out of Wellsboro. Wellsboro, right? Yep, right I put six. Yep, I did the little um, paper earlier. Right down the road from the Goodwill. Yep, there you go. And then you can go to the grocery store, you can go to the gas station, <laughs> you can go to Grand Canyon, Jenny's Rolling Rise. All right, let's try this candy. That looks really good. It does. I see. I see. Uh, marshmallows. Marshmallows. And what's the yeah, yeah, other Graham cracker? Yeah. Graham cracker? Okay, here Chocolate. we go. Pinky's up. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> oh, I like it. That's good. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. This is really good. The chocolate is really good for it. It's a small, like, family owned. You can watch the people making the chocolate in the background. This is really good chocolate. Okay. You want to try your peanut butter mall balls? Mm hmm Cheers. But I know it's peanut butter. That didn't taste like peanut butter. Oh, maybe there's peanut butter in the chocolate? Oh. Mm. There's malt is malt. Mm -hmm. There must be peanut butter in the chocolate. Yeah. They're good. They're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the malt is malt, but then there's peanut butter in the chocolate. In the chocolate, I think. Yeah, they're good. They're not bad at all. Well, I, I think Jenny's is better right now. Okay, next time, a, next time we go, you'll have to um, to read properly. Get, read. Put your glasses on. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is Agnes. Mine. I never show myself on these taste testing. I don't know if I can eat a whole one. Yeah, Jimmy just made dinner and it was really, really, really good. It was mashed potatoes, steak, and spinach. Can you take a bite of it and I'll take a bite of it? Milk chocolate, sea salt caramel, peanut butter. Take a bite. A real cookie. Because it's thick. Mm -hmm. Whoa. That's really good. Ooh, there's caramel on top. The caramel's really good and a lot of it. I love caramel. Mmm. That's really good. Look at that. That's really good. I would say yours is third. Yeah. I'd for say this small, is first. For a small candy Six. store. Mm -hmm. That is very good stuff. That's really good. <laughs> I mean, even chocolate is very good. Mm hmm. That's yummy. And it's a really small, as like I said, you know, it's we'll a, have to it's go, a really small place. We'll have to go again and get something else. But yeah. If you're ever in the Wellsboro area, Yummy. shopping at Goodwill, stop by a quarter mile down the road, right on the, on the left. opposite side of the yeah. road, or high, and they just redid it because actually I think they knocked it down the building or something was, and then rebuilt down. it. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this sweet little video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see ya. Guess what? Mom was able to finish the other cookie all by herself, and she didn't even share.